called Jerry Brown? He's Laurie Brown. Hey, we just came out of the bank there and we used our debit card and we have Mexican pesos. In this video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk to you about how you can take your social security check and use the money down here. Or maybe it's a pension that they have, Lori, and they can use the money down here. So we're gonna give you a little explanation on that very simple process. So uh, let's tell you a little bit about that. Okay. Now, how do you get your money down here? How do you get your social security, your pension? How do you get it down here? You know, is it really a hassle? I'm really confused about that. Those are some of the questions that we have been asked. And so the other thing, this is a two part series. Right now in this video, we're gonna talk about debit card, how to get your money down here. In the, in the second part, Lori, we're gonna discuss to them how to open up a bank account. Can you open up a bank account down here? So here in this part one, let's talk about your social security check. Well, it's very simple. Here's what we do. We actually take our social security check and you can have this done automatically. Social security will do this for you. You let them know what account, a bank account that you have in the United States and where you want that automatically be deposited to. Well, once it's deposited in there, then what we do is we use a ATM card and we get uh, out of the bank, just like we just did there, and we get the Mexican peso. Very simple process like that. A lot of times you don't even need to open up a bank account here. Have your social security check deposited in your bank. Use your debit card down here. The yep. other thing that we do, we use uh, Charles Schwab. We have a Charles Schwab account and we use their debit card. And the reason why, and there are other banks that will do this now, you don't have to pay a foreign transaction fee. And so typically here, you're gonna spend about uh, $1.80 to maybe as high as $3 to do a uh, take out money out of the ATM. And they also they would have a foreign transaction fee that would be on top of that. But by having a credit card, well, they will pay all of that for you. That saves you a bit of money, that helps out. What they do is they charge it to your account, but then they'll credit it back to you. So try that as a uh, alternative. It's a basic process, you know, so that's how we do it. Yes, we just do that. Yeah, and so we have money here, and we don't have to worry about a bank account, and you don't have to worry about anything like that. The other thing is we have two uh, debit cards. Lori has one and I have one, separate names. And the reason we do that, we've never had this happen to us, but we have heard, not here in Mexico, but other places we have traveled, we have heard where they go into an ATM machine and the ATM machine gobbles up their card and now they're traveling and they don't have any uh, way of getting any money out. So by having two accounts, if by you know accident the machine gobbles up your card, then you can use the other person's card. Way. The other thing is uh, on your deposits, make it a minimum amount. In other words, don't make it too much, uh, just in case you lose your card. Uh, so let's say you need uh, to live on in a week, let's say you need uh, $300, then only take out that much money and also design your card so that's all you can take out on a daily basis let's say it's three hundred dollars this way if somebody you know gets your card by accident the most they can take out is three hundred dollars so we're now enjoying uh, breakfast together great to meet jerry and laurie we've seen them on videos in canada on youtube and it's great to meet them in person and they're just the same as if not better than on the video <laughs> so uh, anyway say hi Okay, we hope that helps you, and uh, this has been Jerry Brown. With Laurie Brown. Hey, we appreciate your time. We appreciate you. In this video, people are asking us, can they open up a bank account here in Mexico? Is it possible? Is it complicated? Is it confusing? Well, we're going to answer that question for you here. And But first of all, we're going to tell you what documents you need to have.